Although I don't know how I'm going to manage this. Oh, come on. Get yourself sculpted. Mm. Sort of a problem. What? How did you do this? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, indeed. This is a bit strange. This is indeed a bit strange. Will we try? Of course we will. Alright, let's land. With the half of the people left, but still better than nothing. Alright, now this should be working. Ah, great. Now we can sculpt this land and now he should leave us in peace. Yep, this should be working now. Here, and then we'll move. Here, and then we'll move here. And cut this off. And this as well. Just hold this sculpt a bit less, so it will be like that. Now he shouldn't be able to make his stuff with the hammer. This works. Oh, look, he's playing goddess. Uh, something good happened after all. Now, and uh, as we're getting sort of forward a little bit, I think I'll make a break with recording at episode 108. Should it should be. Okay, let's sail. Got again one of the fluffy clouds, so hopefully we'll get now to the new resources and we'll get another cloud. So let's land here. Now, sculpt away the land to reveal buried objects. Now we'll get to this one and then we'll get here. Alright. But no, no one bad here. So we can land here. Alright. Let's go. So I'll sculpt the land here, and then it will be uh, here, and let's get away the rocks. Perfectly, right. Now, trees away, now. Build them. Build them. Perfectly. Build them. Yeah, I got them now. Build them. Away, so we see everything. Alright. And the music is still quite amusing. Now, build the beacon. Perfectly, and now we can move here. The route is blocked. I remember the time in Pokemon where the path was blocked and you had to get this flute and uh, play everything so you, that uh, Pokemon wakes up and you can move along. Something like that. Heart is blocked. Alright. Still a big compliment to whoever composed the music here. Now, it's way better than this fake chats and uh, mountain of however battling someone. This is not really the core of the game. And now, as we got one of this fluffy clouds. Now, after seven, right, we'll get home because I want to uh, get this new resources as far as they are available. Resources of the Bronze Age. Do we have enough fluffy clouds for them? Wooden carving. One, two, and now come on, we sacrifice the ink for the new resources. Great. Now we have farm and civilize. We have enough people for them. Think. Now Molina will tell us about farming and civilizing. Here we go. The probably my favorite new feature in the the PC build is the is this farming um, and civilizing. We've gone through God Jack, we've gone through so many At iterations. Three major iterations. Yeah. But this is where the game really starts for me. Uh, and me. It really allows you to strategically uh, 
uh, organise your population into a far more efficient workforce. It also solves one of the problems that I'm sure you're frustrated with now, and that is the number of clicks you have to collect belief. Now, we have considered a whole host of things to help with that. We've considered birds flying out and picking up the belief for you. We've considered statues that allow you to water collect belief. But actually, the answer is in settlements. You, what you can do with settlements is group all your abodes together into one enormous um, village, uh, town, and eventually even city. And that means you've only got one click to collect all your belief. So do this now. Really play around with it. Move the circle around to get as many abodes in. Try it out. Get a sample of it. See if you like the look. Think about how you're going to expand after that. This is where the real strategy is. I have seen many people, and we know, with careful placement of of, of settlements, really advance uh, much further. My my uh, after this card is unlocked and the builder settlements afterwards, I find my world um, reduces down from about fifty abodes to uh, to about ten abodes and you know as many settlements as I can squeeze in you'll also have to save up belief this is well worth saving up for do everything you can to get belief do voyages go on rock hunts um, uh, spend some of those gems you want this feature now because the game really starts improving um, after this feature Take advantage of the old um, preview button as well with the settlements because you can keep moving that ring around and so, so subtly and get very different results with the kind of clumping of the houses as they build these like shanty towns and you can get some really lovely creative stuff and continue to apply it to it as well. Uh, and if you look at the at the abodes, it, we've kind of gone through a few different abode designs over over the times and. Some of them would, went, weren't too kind of complementary to uh, the repetition of abodes and things, but now we've kind of gone with this nice um, blockish look, which really allows you to kind of clump the cell, clump the, all the houses together, and it gives us somewhere to go later on as well. Yeah, indeed, why not? So, farm and civilize. Now we have it. Finally. How many believe does it cost? Give it shrine settlements. First farming settlement costs. 3,000 belief, and I, just as I said, it will be possibly here or here. I'll think about it in a process. But first, we have to get the belief for it, which we don't have. We have only 500. Now, the question is, how many people are we going to sacrifice in order to get the settlement? And I think these, this, this part here will be, again, Pit of Doom-like. Because, yeah, we're already at the bottom of the, the happiness. But we'll get it up, no problem. Now, not again. Bye bye. Yeah, I know that we're at the bottom of the happiness, but I'll get it up. I, I promise you, by episode 110, 11, or 12, possibly, we'll get it up again. Absolutely sure. I promise it. Now what I really like is this buff, is this thing again. How many people we have, how many people we will have, and how many people we need to the next card. That's an interesting aspect. Now you need nine gems to build to fill this place. Wow. Well, this is something. Something I can't provide. Right. Ten thousand belief costs forty gems. Now there was something, destination, yeah we can, I think we can change this one, ready, great. So we can change this one for belief and the crops, and we will go there. Hopefully I really get some belief, because we need to be for the settlement. Let's see what happens. Reward is 500 belief, fair deal. Avoid the deadly swamp, oh, oh, oh. Something dangerous, after all. Oh, come on, guys. 